Today I'm going to show you how you can create variable data content for your customers using EFI's free variable data solution, Fiery Freeform Create. You can download it from EFI.com and is available in both a PC and a Mac version. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is select the Begin button underneath Variable Data Document. This will allow us to bring in our master PDF file, which is the PDF that has no variable content on it. And then we'll hit Next and we'll bring in our data source, which in this example is an Excel file. So now we have our data source selected, we hit Create. This will open up our GUI for Freeform Create. There are all our text fields we can select from, our barcodes. We can add custom text and variable data imaging if we want as well. But for this example, we're going to just drag over the fields that we need to create our addressing for this postcard. So we're going to put our first name here. We'll add address one, address two, city, state, and zip, and then the barcode. You may be thinking this looks like a mail merge in Microsoft Office, but the difference here is we're using Fiery's variable data technology to only print the master document once in the Fiery's RIP and then overlay the addressing so it processes much faster versus a traditional MFP. So now we have everything set up. We'll readjust it. We could change the color, the text, the, the line height, whatever you'd like to do with the text. Next thing we'll do is we'll bring in our barcode. And then we will select our barcode content, which in this example is going to be a USPS intelligent barcode mailing sheet. We can turn the text off or on for that. We'll leave it off. And at this point here, we can then preview our results to make sure everything looks right. So there's our first address. There's our second address. You notice we're collapsing address one and address two. And then here is our third address. So We've got the variable piece set up, so the next thing we probably want to do is we could send a PDF preview to the customer to make sure it looks correct. But in this example here, we'll just save this as our variable data document file, and we'll name it Restaurant Postcard. And then we'll hit Save. And then once this is saved, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to send it over to the Fiery. But before we send it, we're going to select a setting that I created on the Fiery for restaurant postcards. This will lay it out as a four up for cutting on your cutter, slicer, creaser. So once it's sent to the Fiery, we'll go over to Command Workstation. You can see it's ripping onto the Fiery. And when it's finished ripping, I can double click in the preview pane, and you will now see the end result for the variable data postcards, all laid out as a four up, addressed and ready to go. So this is how easy it is to create variable data postcards using Fiery's Freeform Create solution. If you like the video you saw today, please feel free to give us a thumbs up. Have a great weekend.